Hello everybody, this is Seether Cord and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on Seether Cord Games. Last time we went and we got the Begoron Sword and finally, it's so big and large, oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I'm terrible. But this time we're now going to start the Far Symbol and we also got Saria Sunset, it's awesome. Let's just get started. Attack at the Killer Wolves, oh my god. I must destroy them. The Werewolves. Okay. Making tons of penis jokes, oh my god. See that enemy I just took out? Freaking bam, one hit kill. One hit KO. Nice. Alrighty. Stick it down. Okay, there we go. Nice. That really virtually didn't do anything. It's just gonna constantly spawn each time you come back, so there was really no point in me even getting that, to be honest with you. There's gonna be a gold sculpture up there, but first we're gonna want to go and uh, to start off the very first temple in the game by uh, climbing up this vine right here. Alright. Do 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 do. Alright. So next we're gonna do now is we're gonna wanna take out this gold sculpture right here. Get ourselves another gold sculpture, so that's nice. Sweet! How many do we have now? I think 19. We're at the total of 19 now. No, still 18. Oh well. Okay, so uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly walk over here and we wanna collect this treasure chest right over here without falling off to our death. Okay, can I jump it? I can always hookshot, but I wanna be a beast. No! Oh god. I suck at being cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So weird. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to be cool or beast anymore. I'm just gonna, you know, you do the regular mode of just using the hook shot. Just get on the get on the freaking analog sticks really really um, sensitive apparently, so just got a hook shot onto that chest, and we got the small key. So this is the first small key in the game. I don't believe we had keys um, in the dungeon, so this is the first time we're going to have temples. Um, first time we're going to have keys so far. So in temples, you have to. there's going to be certain doors that are going to be locked, so you're going to need to collect keys in order to get through these, these doors. So yeah. I got the spider. It reminds me like Patrick from Spongebob when he thought <laughs> Spongebob was a spider, and he thought, spiders! And just like started smashing him with his giant, giant mobile rock home. It's full immobile rock home. It's funny. <laughs> oh god. And as you can see, the main point of this temple is going to be that we're going to have to destroy all four of these ghosts now in order to get down to the bottom floor, which is where the boss of this dungeon is going to be. So let's go and take care of that, shall we? Alright, as you can see, we're first going to want to go and follow this one right over here. Right. As you can see, there's another song of time block, so we're just going to want to get our ocarina. Not jump on top of it, that would be nice, please. Get our ocarina, I'm just going to play the uh, song of time. So yeah. This is the right song again. Yes. I remember when I tried to do a practice run of this, I constantly got the, um, you know, when I gained the time block, I always tried to, like, get rid of it by using the Zelda's lullaby instead of the Song of Time. I don't know why. Just because maybe, like, Zelda's song is formed into a triport triforce because it's, like, left, up, right, left, up, right. It's just like a, like a triangle triforce thing. So I'm just, like, I guess it's, like, some people think it's, like, a kind of thing where it's like that. And it can kind of relate to, like, you know, song time being just, like, you know, like, the ancient Hyrule stuff, so. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It's kind of intuitive thinking in a way, but still, it's not the way it's supposed to be, so. I'm going to be careful getting this guy, because I don't have a long enough hook shot to get, to kill him. So I guess i got to wait and time it right, because if he sees me, he will jump at me. Okay, he's going to turn back a bit. Oh, God. Uh, okay, I made it good. Sweet. All right. Now we're gonna take out these enemies right here. I don't remember the name of them, but basically you wanna hit them with your hook shot and you're gonna slam them or slice them up with your sword in order to uh, you know get rid of them or kill them. I mean, so you gotta pretty much do a double hit in order to get rid of them no matter what. So yeah. And I believe right here we're going to get ourselves the map. If I'm wrong, it's gonna be the compass. Compass instead. The compass. I'm terrible. <laughs> That's the map. Okay. Nice. Alrighty. And, uh, okay, so that's gonna be, uh, nowhere else we can go in terms of that, so I'm just gonna go back. I think I went the wrong way, actually. Did I? Yeah, I almost went the wrong way, my bad. I'm supposed to go this way. I got confused there for a second. I was like, what? Anyway. Okay, so we wanna get up here, because apparently you can't, you, you're just close enough when you, uh, go and, uh, take care of them. You're close enough to, uh, grab onto this thing right here, which will help us grapple with our hookshot to here by standing on top of the 
the ledge, so, or the railing, I mean. So yeah, and with that, we press this button, which will lower the water down there. I could have gone down, this is helping us to, uh, I mean, let me just repeat myself. I could have just uh, gone down, down there with the iron boots, since I already got it, which at this point in the game, they don't really expect you to get the iron boots, but I did anyway. So uh, I just could have rolled down there, gotten, and walked underwater with the iron boots, but instead I didn't, so, yeah. So just doing the way it is. And there's gonna be, um, a treasure chest right here was going to contain our next key, I'm pretty sure. Let me just uh, check. Okay. Yep, I'm right. I'm awesome. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. So, I'm just going to climb back up on this vine, vine right here. Love how two-dimensional they are. It's just like grabbing onto the cracks and the, and the brick, barely holding on. Carry his entire body weight of like 170 pounds or something like that. He's more like a, he looks like 210 or something. I don't know about his muscle built. I don't really ever see him naked in this game. That'd be a really weird mod. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, but naked. That's kind of weird. Can I grab a, can I hook shot here? I think I see a vine slightly. Nah, I can't do it, okay. So we got ourselves the, um, the key right there, so now we can go and continue. So we're just gonna leave this room and avoid getting hit by that freaking plant monster thing. So yeah, where's the next place to go to? Um, all right. We can't go through uh, this door yet due to the fact that um, the eye, we need our um, item which we're going to get for this dungeon uh, later on, then we can go through there, so I'm not sure if this is the way back or not. Be a little confused. I do get confused sometimes when it comes to here, so I did go the wrong way, my bad. <coughs> oh, excuse me, what's going on? What's wrong with me? I don't know why, but I have some, like, gastral, like, like air, you know, kept built up within me whenever, like, I'm recording for some reason. It's really disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well. I'm a gross individual. Why do you even watch me? I don't know. Come on! Okay. Nice. And with that, we go through here, and we're going to have a little mini boss area right here. So we got to take care of these two, uh, you know, um, skeleton monster guys. So, yeah. Nice. Sweet. I could've just like long shot into them. Gotta wait for his shield to go up slightly. Um, come on. There we go, baby. Nice. Sweet. And with that, it's gonna spawn yet another treasure chest. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Let's open it up. It's another key, we have three keys, my god. I haven't even used any of them yet, what the heck. I might need to use this fairy, so yeah. Right, do I have any fairies on me? I'm not sure, I don't have any yet, so that's fine. Or you know what I could do, will it respawn? I don't know if it will or not, let me just go check. I think it will. Okay, I'm gonna get out a bottle. It did, so that's good. All right, I didn't mean to use it. What the heck? That sucks. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Like, really? Okay. Just gonna go back again. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> no. Nice. Got to sell the fairy in the bottle. Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. I made a little bit of a mistake and sidetracked in myself, so I didn't know what to do. But now I remember as to where I'm ready to go, so I completely, for some reason, because I'm a complete oblivious idiot, I, um, <laughs> forgot to notice that there was a locked door right here, so let's just go through here then. Through here then, I mean. My god, my speech is terrible. Why do you even watch these videos? You can barely understand what I'm saying. Like, what the heck? Alright, so now we've got three keys. We can go through here. Alrighty. Okay. And now we have pretty much this like type of maze we're gonna have to take care of in terms of uh, you know climbing up these ladders, and we're gonna have this block we're going to have to push right here, which you can see of right first after Navi has to rudely interrupt me. There is pain on the floor. This block right here, and you can tell this is the you know the uh, version of the game where it has the uh, Islamic symbol in it. So you know it's like that. So um, I hear freaking power drilling going on downstairs. Like what the hell? Anyway, I'm going to take this block and I'm going to have to pull it in the direction of the arrows in order to, um, you know, take it to where I need to go in order to uh, put it in this uh, little hole right here in order to uh, climb up to here to get farther into this room. So, yeah. Alrighty. Pretty unique way of doing it, Nintendo. 
Clever boys. Clever boys. Alright. Just gonna push it a little bit farther. Just shove it in there. <laughs> Sounds terrible, my god. Anyway. Alright, so we've pressed it as far as we can right now, so we're gonna next gonna do is take this way, which will help me help us go to right here, and we can just easily push it into the uh, space right here. Alright. Nice. So now we can you know, just hide, so it's now, ugh, I can't speak. So now the block is now lowered, so we're just able to jump up there, and we're now up here, so that's nice too. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you want to take this block right here and bring it backwards so I'm taking in the direction we need to go with it. Right. Come on. It's as far as we can go right now. Next thing we're going to do is going to take... Oh gosh, I didn't know where I was going. But yeah, we're going to go back down here and as you can see there is a ladder located somewhere right here. Yeah, right here which will take us to a little shortcut way so that way you can go and bring that block up here, up there to the right area, so, and push it back into the spot we need to, to for the second block, so. I'm sorry if I'm sounding kind of weird in ways of, like, you know, explaining things, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well. But, yeah. Sorry about that cut again, guys. I just got interrupted a bit by something that came up, but I'm all good now, so. Alrighty, so next that we got that out of the way, we, we've now pushed the block in the right direction, I believe, so. I haven't even pushed it at all. What the heck am I doing? But yeah, I did. Okay. What the heck is wrong with me? I can't think straight today. I'm crazy. I don't know. I've just been tired all day. I guess. I don't know. Just want to get this recorded. Oh my god. Alright. Am I going in the right direction of the triangles? Yes, I am. Alright. So we're going to go back up here. Grab up to here. Oh god, that camera angle. Jesus, that made me a little disoriented right there. Oh my god. Push, push. Reminds me like Patrick Starr in the episode about wormy, like a giant worm taking over, uh, or like trying to kill everyone in Bikini Bottom. Like, push. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Saying that we need to take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else. Oh my God. Anything is possible with the power of teamwork. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, um, I think we're about to head up to the point where we're in the next part. So. Okay, so I'm gonna take care of this. Freaking sword your ass. Alright, now we thankfully have two more keys, so we can use this next one right here. And now we have this spinny room. Oh my god. This corridor is all twisted. No shit, Navi, I just said it, but anyway. We're now in a spinny, twisted room. Looks, looks very trippy, doesn't it? This was actually, I think, uh, this was referenced again in uh, Majora's Mask at the very beginning in the next game of the series, so yeah. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Oh my god. So yeah. Watch out. It's gonna fall for you. As you can see, this like little circle falls right below us right here. You're gonna wanna quickly move and wait for when it drops. You have to make sure you're not touching it. Or, he's, or you're not standing still so that way he doesn't grab you. And if he does grab you, you will be sent back to the opening of the dun the very entrance of the dungeon. And then you'll have to track all the way back here, which is annoying. It really is. Just be aware of that. Okay. And we do have one more key. And I will go here. Okay. Oh god, I almost fell off again. Terrible timing. But anyway, yeah. So that uh, gives us um, into this next room, this next area worth of staircases and such. So we'll just uh, take care of that next episode. So I think we're running out of time here. So next time, let's play the Legends of the Ocarina of Time. We're going to continue the Forest Temple and then go and see what we can do next in here. So I think we're about half the way through with it. So thank you all so much for watching. I've been Seether Cord, and I'll see you guys next time. So goodbye, everyone. <laughs>